Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2023 Forge River Flagstaff Classic model number 826 MBR. Just a great, great bathroom, great bedroom, front kitchen, double slide model, less than 30 feet, weighing around 7,500 pounds or so. It's going to have you slow dancing with your aunt. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. How's it going, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. Please smash that like and subscribe button. We're also on Instagram, TikTok. We're also on Facebook if you want to follow us along there. The comment section is open if you want to ask some questions. Leave us some awesome comments. Let us know what you think about this thing. I really like how Flagstaff does a lot of these just under 30 feet floor plans with two slides. That's dose for you down in our listeners in Mexico. Enjoy this awesome video. <laughs> How about our, uh, our customers in Quebec? Oh, that is duh. There we go. <laughs> Front power jack, 30 pound repaint tanks, battery in a box location right in behind there. A great looking front fiberglass cap. I understand it's a little bit dirty and dusty here this morning. A windshield in that cap, over top of our kitchen, you're out looking over top of the peasants. I love it. We got slide toppers whenever we can on these flag staffs. Two rack and ping style slides. This one's pulling the couch and some storage off the floor. This one's pulling the main bedroom off the floor. We're gonna get to all of that. A little bit of bonus storage right here. Brian, that's tall. You can stand up in there, brother. Fitting the fishing rods in here. That's it. We got our additional storage here underneath the back bed, or underneath the bed. I love how they have the 50 amp cord in a, in a bag like so. There's also a little shelf right through there that you pull out, put on the other side. Our sewer drains down through here. Nice light here on the outside, lighting up our hookups, outside shower, city water connection, cable satellite inlet, black water flush kit, and antifreeze inlet right through there. 50 amp detachable style cord. And then this cupboard right here is a great little cupboard because it gives us access to our water filtration and our water pump. Nice and slick there from the outside. And I love they don't skimp, right? They give you the actual metal slam latch doors, nice thick doors as well. Roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. Class three receiver, meant to just carry bikes and stuff like that. And then we're prepped on the roof there, or at the roof for a backup camera. Electric jacks all the way around. There's no outside kitchen, but there might as well be because we have an outside fridge and then outside griddle. It's gonna clip on here, hook up down below to our gas quick connect. Our furnace is here. We've also got an outside shower, so kind of sinking away. Outside receptacle, outside TV hookup. Now, because both of our slides are on the other side, we get unobstructed awning in through here. LED lights in the awning. It's also got the cradle. And then there's a shield covering that awning, protecting that for you, just in case you rub across a branch or something like that. Outside speakers, really nice secure steps, lend a hand grab handle. And these secure steps are spring assisted, so they come up and down nice and easy. 15 inch Goodyear Endurance tires, aluminum rims on torsion suspension. Love it, Brendan. I just freaking love it, buddy. Six gallon gas electric water heater and then some storage here. Now, this is kind of inside out storage because it goes underneath our kitchen, but I love that they give us access right through here. Again, another nice slam latch door in through there. Let's have a look inside. Right on folks, we're inside that 826 MBR. For being less than 30 feet, this trailer feels super long. We got our kitchen space where you're standing in, your main entrance right here with the closet, and then a big, huge back bedroom with a bathroom right behind it. Now, this is a king size bed, Brennan? Kinda looks like, it. yeah, it's a king. Yep. King size bed out in the slide. I like the headboard in through here. The nice reading lights are great. There's actually USBs built into those reading lights as well storage across the top and a nice windows on either side of the bed giving you some nice cross ventilation in through there this is that uh, griddle i was talking about that's going to go on the outside for you and then we've always got this awesome storage in through here you'll see it's all aluminum framing with our even our minor construction big drawers here pulling out look how this look at this friend come here close aluminum framing but they actually stuff it with wood there to give you just a little more screw retention. That's a great feature. We've seen that in Grand Design before. I didn't know Flagstaff was doing that. That's a great, great little piece there. Now across here, we've got six drawers. These are all soft closed drawers, which is excellent. We've got our breakers and our fuses over here. Cupboard space there. Seamless countertops in through here. A nice window facing our campsite. And then we've got roller shades in through here. Oh, Brennan, receptacle and USB so you can have like your hair straightener, that kind of stuff there. And then a legit closet here. 
and then below that closet, cupboard space right in through here. Okay. Now continuing back, we've got a killer bathroom. We got double sinks in through here, undermount stainless steel sinks, seamless, which is beautiful. Up into our medicine cabinets. There's two of them, so that means what, Brendan? You're fitting everybody's drugs. Everybody's drugs. The whole neighborhood's drugs could fit in here. The whole campground. Whole campground. Who's got the drugs? That's a fake cabinet. Right here is our linen closet, or linen, uh, yeah, closet, we'll call it that. You put all your towels and stuff like that in there. And then up into the shower, we've got a really nice arch to the roof on these uh, flagstaffs, so there's lots of height in through here. I'm six feet tall. You can tell I easily fit. Nice uh, glass shower doors with a seat. I can sit down and shave my legs. There's a fantastic fan in here and our shower miser. So that's really handy because you're not going to waste water when you're dry camping. You can just be regurgitating that into the tank, which is fantastic. Now, heading all the way through, we're only halfway done, Brendan. The kitchen is the best part. You think so? Uh, that's a good point. This is great back here. But yeah. no, this is really nice. This is really nice. You're right. Like the, the solid surface in through here is spectacular. We've got the bar slash dinette for you. It's a really usual bar because it comes out really far. Very, very comfortable to sit at. We've got our sound bar right there with our TV across from our theaters. We're going to get to those. Now we've got a ton of storage here in the kitchen. So let's get to that, Brendan. Cupboard spot there drawer right through here don't forget we have a tpms system water filtration system all that built into these guys soft close drawers cupboard space here and here recycling and garbage is going to fit there pop down piece here and then three drawers here again which are soft close some more solid surface we've got that windshield we talked about at the beginning a nice window over through there and then our sink, Brendan, is a single vessel stainless steel sink with split drying racks, pull out faucet, cover space here across the top, continues over, really deep microwave in through here, you can fit a full plate, and then one more window there facing our campsite in the kitchen itself. Now in our main slide, we got our 10 cubic foot 12 volt fridge as a standard. This is going to be running off the battery. Batteries being charged off the solar panel that's also coming stock. And then we've got another drawer right here. Again, soft clothes is a big deal. These are manual recliners, but they've got the automatic, or I shouldn't say automatic, electric lumbar support. So you shove that into your back. Oh, that feels really good. I'm facing you, but I'm also facing the TV right through here. There's great viewing. This is going to flip over for cup holders, receptacles, and USBs in through there. And a nice big window, and then the sun's probably messing with the Brennan, but these lights in through here are great beside the theater seats. They're really, really good looking stuff. Fancy. Fancy. That's the video. Nope. What? You missed there. You missed this. Thank you, Brendan. <laughs> That's why you're here, buddy. Not just a pretty face. Nice closet there as we come in the unit. And then what do you think's down here, B? They like to juke you. Nice one, nice one <laughs> Charge controller for the solar panel, our Wii RV Connect. So you can actually basically hook up to this with our phone, operate our slides, awning, lights, that kind of stuff right from our phone. That's slick. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Leave us a comment down below and have yourself a good day.